everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been a very long time since I've made a video. I think my last one was in September and it's already November. I mean, where does the time go? But it's 2020 so it's all timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly. Um, the reason why it's taken me so long to make another video is just because I've been busy. Yeah, there's just a ton of work to do, a ton of work with job applications as well. So. Yeah, I really haven't had much time to even sit down and edit the videos that I already have made. So I thought I'll at least get this one out because it's a very small review and a very short, candid interview with uh, none other than Edward Avila. So I met him a couple months ago in August in a flea market that happened in Seoul with Edward and Joan and there was it was at Isaac Flower Market um, and uh, a bunch of other people. And it was a lot of fun and I finally got a chance to try out his new line View 92. This one in particular is the lip toner and he also has another one which is called a lip milk. So let's hear from Edward himself about his products and what they do. <laughs> Basically, we don't have toner for skin. I was like, why don't we have the milk? Because my lips are so dry already. So I made the toner and the milk. The toner is just literally a toner for your lips. Originally, the main purpose of this was for exfoliation. But I realized while we were making it, it's really good just for hydration in general. Because the exfoliants are really gentle. They're very like fruit extracts or whatever. And there's a lot of ingredients in there for just moisture, but it's not just moisture on top. Usually lip balm and lip uh, masks are moisturizing on the outside, right? So this one, if I'm going to be honest, you can use this with any lip balm or whatever. Best use it with this one because, because I said so. Um, you, when you use, you literally need like this much, like one drop for your whole lips. And it works as a really good base for not just any lip balm or lip uh, mask that you use, it helps it absorb into the lips because it moisturizes from the inside, but also if you're a lip wearer, it helps because uh, you can't, if you wear lipstick, you can't have like a lip balm underneath or else it'll get all like too thick. So this works as a great moisturizer, like almost like a primer, I guess, before lipstick as well. So um, I like to use it morning and night. And right on top of that, I like to use the lip milk. It's the multi lip milk, so you can technically use it for either just like a lip gloss, a lip mask. Like if you lately, because it's getting colder, my lips are getting extra dry and chapped. So I'll put several layers, and that helps lift the dead skin off and also just soften the lips. Because with most lip balms and lip masks, they can be moisturizing, but what I wanted with this is that it actually uh, has ingredients to help heal lips, like Centella Asiatica and Propolis and things like that to help not just like not just make it you know moisturize but also help heal because lips get when you especially when you peel your lips a lot or like bite them they get damaged as well so it has a lot of ingredients in it to help heal the lips uh, as well as moisturize so we use it together and you don't have to use a lot of either uh, because you can just use it as well you can use it as like a a moisture cream for your lips I guess because it's really thin it starts out white but it goes on clear and when you layer it it turns glossy so uh, and the thing is it's not sticky because it's more like a more like a skincare product a lot of lip gloss can be sticky because you know it helps it last longer but this is meant to be absorbed into your lips so uh i you can think of it as just skincare for your lips because i feel like there wasn't enough of that on the market so yeah there's a ton of the lip belt bye using this lip toner for about 
three months now and I must say that I do really like it. So what I usually do is every morning before I put on my lipstick, I put on a few drops of this on my lips. I let it soak in and then I put on my lipstick. I really like to use matte or velvet lipsticks. If you have chapped lips, it can look really weird. So this has actually helped me a lot over the summer and uh, now going into fall as well because it helps my lips not be chapped in the morning when I'm trying to apply a matte or a velvet lipstick. Yeah, I would really recommend this for those people who need like a little bit of hydration in their lips and those who need even more hydration, I would recommend the lip milk. So do check them out. I will leave a link to both his Instagram and hopefully I'll find a link to where you can actually order these online and I believe they're shipping to all the countries that are accepting international shipping right now because you know but either way great product can't wait to see what you have in store next edward and hope to meet you soon in seoul again and do stay tuned for some more reviews on my channel so i have a couple others um one skincare product called a sun essence from face republic and a candid interview with changa for that one as well as a very small interview with uh, flower boy Isaac as well. So stay tuned for that. And since it is Diwali right now, I thought I'll have lights around my house. So a very happy Diwali to everyone who is celebrating. And I will see you next time. Bye.